hello and welcome back to my channel we are in week two of uh, january 2023 and in the spirit of consistency because i am pushing to push uh one video a week as i said in the previous one um, i just feel like it will be it will make more sense you guys will uh you know be more in tune with the things that are happening in my life not my life but like in my business world because i foresee a lot of growth and a lot of things were not shared in the vlogs or in videos last time because like i would feel like either things would happen too fast oh you guys oh by the time i wanted to share something or a thought that i had with you guys it was no longer relevant so you you, you had nothing to tie the topic too. I hope you guys are good. As you can see, I'm all over the place. I am working off the floor. I'm on the floor. Standing bonus in case I don't believe me. I am um, and excuse if you can hear that buzz sound in the background. We are currently having load shedding. Um I can work during load shedding. We have an inverter, that's the noise that you are hearing. Uh but usually during load shedding, I use it as my cheat, relax, TikTok, you know, because I'm so into TikTok these days. So if you are not following me on TikTok, I don't know, because on TikTok, you will get to see me daily. So as I was saying, um, I love working from home. Honestly, I do understand that it is such a privilege to be able to do events, which is like having your hobby and you get to do it from home. You are your own boss. But at the same time, because I don't have like strict times, wake up, work, you know, sometimes if I don't feel like working, I don't and working here TV there I can get distracted easily that's why I want to move and start building myself a mini office nothing fancy because I don't know I, I, I can get ahead of myself when it comes to ideas so I'm really trying to tone it down so that when I do actually start implementing it it won't be a huge project using one of the rooms as my office just a side put a table i'm not sure if i'm going to get a corner table or a long table just for a chair my laptop the cricket machine and the printer because then i want to be able to if i'm vlogging and i'm working it's easy for you guys to see the whole station if i am printing t-shirts because i need to print t-shirts oh snap i need to print a t-shirt today for my driver so if I'm doing that, it's easy for you guys to see everything in one shot. What have I been working on for 2023? Um, okay, I have been lazy, but I have been working a little bit. I've been, I don't know if you guys know, if you're new, if you're old. Um, I'm from a marketing sales background. So everything about my business, even when I try not to do it, it always inevitably gets to a marketing strategy. Like I, I can never just do anything with my business i always sit so december is my quiet time where i just you know zone out for a bit maybe for a two weeks nyana. but then i switch on to small ceo mode where i start thinking new year what am i bringing what's changing hence the first episode when i was worried about competition how do i do with it was i did a bit of research um i went on to youtube i was googling and i was reading articles for the past week all geared towards um, content creation um, value placing um, increasing my numbers increasing reach because the end goal is i have i do amazing work and i need more people to see it and but i don't just want any person to see my work i want the right people to see it um, i do amazing things with this channel and i know for a fact more people deserve to see my videos not just for views but because i know my videos help same thing with tiktok i want to grow my numbers so that more people can see is i want to get 
to currently on instagram i went 13,000. right i actually grew my instagram guys i don't know if you all know this i was stuck at 5,000 something instagram followers for the longest time because i, I just was not in tune with numbers of how many people. i was just happy that i was getting jobs and i did the same thing that i did now this marketing but that one was like more of a social media studies um strategy that 5k and i got to like 11k like since the last year it was like a proper thing then on youtube we're currently on 3000 something i'd love to end the year with 10,000 um, subscribers on my youtube platform and then for tiktok i'm currently on 18 18 i would love love to clock the year on 30. now another part of my job is fielding queries all day every day i am fielding inquiries yo oh, the yellow yellow dark guy so my inquiries come in from instagram which would be eat direct messages i don't like them but after reading up on my marketing strategy i actually like now people dm me because it's actually good it's good for your instagram stats um i also have whatsapp which is the biggest way that people reach me i then do take calls and emails okay but now this is now the part so last week it was the competition this week dinefrat dinefrat are guys in abantu who are inquiring with me god bless them i love them i touched this um i touched a bit about this when i did the video on um why you should ask for a budget if you have not watched that that, that um, video do yourself a favor go watch it spare yourself the time that you are wasting quoting every single person who comes through your door um like you guys are more than welcome to weigh in on this one in my game is the fact that i am getting let's say an average five inquiries no out of the five only one from the five is within my client budget range for events that i want to set up ian frat the fact that i'm still pulling the other four in the fishnet right because it means that my targeting is not as efficient as it should be so it's telling me that there is a problem and i need to work on it which is what i'm doing why am i still pulling people who i don't want to be quoting why do i want the money because i've got bills so start directing my company my efforts my posts my work my communication everything about my business needs to speak to the clients that i want which is the marketing strategy that i'm doing for 2023 so if you had not or didn't even have like the thought of ever doing something like this i encourage you to please look into doing some type of marketing strategy for the business because these girlies out here guys we are not just growing our numbers we are not just doing bombers work we're not just getting customers there's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes into everything and part of it is this so this is why i'm having this is why i want us to have like weekly updates so you guys really get a realistic view of how i'm growing what is it that i'm doing the reason why i'm really amped about the strategy that i'm doing is because it's really 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 gonna fine tune my offering this year which is bespoke i want classy i want people when i want a person to think of you see how when you think of precious you know there's there's that thing i want that i want people to look at my work and say mm -hmm. and he because upper and afford or i want them to say i don't care how much it is that's the person i want to do my events and if my clients are not doing that i don't want them high-end luxury um 
that's the level that's the service that i'm offering so that service offering needs to match the chankura i'm charging and the chankura i'm charging is only afforded by a small group of people and i want to get to a small group of people now mm, it's a bit cold only to be like yo abanyamandwana who can afford you what about them what about them what about them there's woolies there is shop right there's a spider shop because guys want to keep coming back to money we want money we are not doing this thing jays yes it ends and me because i do it full time this is my bread and butter i need to pay my daughter's school fees i need to um pay for the truck i need to pay for stuff i need to pay for storage i've got expenses now so the time for playing fair cuts there's no more anyone see yes i need money let's talk let's dive into this quickly guys i need money because i've got expenses that i've just listed to you guys so if i'm still out here paying and doing events say five thousand guys i'm happy to do two events in a month and make forty thousand than to have to do eight events in a month to make forty thousand i'm like i don't know if i'm making sense so because they're inquiring with me and now i'm being understanding your budget zabo going out of my way to do bomb ass work working three times as hard ways i can just do me hold out for the right client you know which takes me back to the right client means having a marketing strategy where if i'm doing adverts when people see my work they need to buy themselves they must they must have filtered themselves to say so i won't even bother so that only the people who i really want to inquire with me inquire with me make me feel bad about it it's about like it's like we have seven and you're getting offered a job and salary akobati salary akho 3000 for nyanga whereas you know you like you know well that 3000 is organized next in my guess akho 5000 also kwazi umthathu msebenzi sokubhadela le 3000 in my guess akho 5000 because you get into more debt in that job so you better off without it i hope i'm making sense to you guys and i'm not coming out or coming off as umdunga to ungrateful and i'm two tops owned you know no i i want money i have responsibilities that i want my ads to speak to my right client i need to zone in more on my target market who is my target market where are they if i'm putting out an ad it must go to those people if they see my work it must talk to those people it must attract those people um, I want people who are not going to negotiate the price anymore. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. I want people who are not going to negotiate the price with me anymore who will understand um, the value and the time I put in to guys to deliver. Going. Let's move away from that now. For the year, for the month. This so far, uh, I'm on two bookings for um, January. A1 DMZ last week. So, for someone who was a bit mm -mm -mm, competition, do you see what happens? If you stick to your guns and you just hold out on is Disney because, guys, you're. I decline more people to do events than the clients that I get. This one, I think that's probably why it's so frustrating for me to keep declining clients because declining clients is like that could have been one more client that would have begged me. But it's fine. I'm happy with my two. Um, I have a one. I'm awaiting payment. She promised to pay on Sunday, which is in two days. Um, funny story about that one. Something I'm not doing in 2020 2023 like and easy guys is repeating things yes this year and the other guys this year i'm very good about it too so and i love what i do i honestly 
you love what I do. Like, I have all these books. Nambona, you know, I'm creative. I, I'm sketching. I'm planning. I, I want to do, you know, I, like, I want to do my best all the time. I want to do Pinterest level type of work. But when clients keep booking you for the same, if, like, for the same thing, eventually you kind of run out of ideas. And I'm starting to get to that point where I'm running out of ideas and I'm getting demotivated to do the event and then um because i'm getting demotivated i kind of like don't want to keep posting the same type of thing because then it's not giving me range yeah that's what i want i want range so the client who's going to be paying me in um on sunday i very gently asked her to um, please consider changing her theme which she was happy to consider uh, so I actually need to send her my suggestions on things she wanted a wild one the child is turning one and I said no nice of course I said please in that I like when we do something else I really am not I, I don't have anything left the booking that I have for Jen it's a wild one at least you are it's a different i tried to probably get the last type of version of how i can do a wild one a more pastel um and it's a girl and a boy so at least it will have some hints of um, i want to play with a lot of gold and i want to add a hint of purple and you know, so i i know i've got some creative elements but after lena i have nothing else left for me to do with a wild one so she was open up for me so no more you see me do multiple events if i do do one and if like i say if the client insists i will do it because at the end of the day it's about the money but um and i'm not saying i'm not, I'm not gonna do it with my whole heart like i'm not gonna put all my effort in i will i just won't post it i've done it before it's like maybe if you bake a cake and you have the same order of the same cake i mean eventually you can only post the same cake enough times to say you post and I don't wanna post for the sake of proving Uba I have M sevens. No, I wanna post work that offers or adds to my catalog and then will bring and attract more clients because then they'll see I've got range. A client brief to put together for the lady who I'm doing e the wild one. So we're gonna meet up with a client meet, and the next week I also have a client meeting for a thirtieth. Then to close off this video, there are um, if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, if you have me on WhatsApp, you will see I I am huge on posting. So I'm sharing um for me. Um, there are workshops coming up. So before you even say anything, AM a workshop guys, Iesa. Soon. I will I'll, I'll be putting out to save the date um, really really I really want to do this as soon as possible there is a candle workshop by Uhepi so she is um, teaching you how to make your own candles if you're interested in that it is on my TikTok if you want to go and read up on how you can attend and further details it's the three it's 3,000 Rand per person and she does uh, uh, she gives you the whole entire kit the one who I order I order my candles from her probably half the industry orders candles from her and then the other person who's having a class um, is Ooh, Serena so if you are looking for a class oh I don't know if you guys can see that but if you're looking for a class for flowers so she's going to be doing floral theory costing backdrop styling roof installation large medium florals box florals cascading bouquet table styling balloon styling in her class it will be on the 27th and on the 28th of february in pretoria north it's 8,000 rand she only wants 15 percent deposit please go and if you go to my tiktok you'll be able i tagged her so you'll be able to go to her and ask her questions if you want to attend the date for the candle workshop 
is the 31st of January 2023. These are starting off well. I hope you guys are starting to get inquiries and if your business is booming, if you are already setting up, lucky you, but like I'm not complaining. I am enjoying being at home. I'm such a homebody, guys. If you ever want to find me, if I'm not on a plane, <laughs> I'm at home. Um, yeah, I really love being at home. So I'm going to use this time, as I said, to carry on with my marketing strategy. If you want to do that, if you want me to go more in depth with my marketing strategy, um, I'm also happy to do that with you guys. Like, I, I want you guys to grow with me. I don't just want you guys to watch my channel and just have me tell you what to do. I want you guys to actually see me doing and planning and so that you can at whatever scale that you want to do it at you can start because everything that i do you can also do hey guys if you manage to get to this end of the video thank you to every single person who commented on that last video your guys comments you know was so heartfelt it really touches me and pushes me to actually really try evolve the channel that's why i want to have a more engaging channel where like i said i want to share my marketing strategies of how i do what i do and not just have you guys sit and look at me buying a tea on, on this pedestal um please do subscribe if you have not we need to reach more people right here i appreciate you so much for watching i appreciate you so much for following me because most of you are on my social platforms and yeah guys i'm humbled i'm gonna carry on now and pretend to uh, i like i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat because oh my gosh. yeah electricity is gonna come back soon um yeah thank you so much for watching until the next one